A micro factory is a small scale factory capable of producing small scale items. They might include automatic machine tools, assembly systems, quality inspection systems, material feed systems, waste elimination systems, a tool degradation evaluation system, and a replacement system. In this video, join us as we tell you more about the Arrivals Micro Factory. But before that, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell button to be notified whenever we publish a new video. What is Arrival? What sets Arrival unique is how they intend to make the items. Since the early days of cantankerous manufacturing pioneer Henry Ford, car manufacturers have worked on lengthy conveyor systems on which automobiles travel from station A to station B. The larger the plant, the more vehicles you can produce. The higher the economies of sale. Arrivals Micro Factory Arrivals central concept, it turns out, is to reimagine automobile manufacturing as a much smaller modular and scalable product in and of itself. These cutting-edge cellular micro factories may be put up in any common warehouse space with a floor area of 200,000 square feet. Tesla's Nevada Gigafactory, which spans 5.3 million square feet and isn't even done yet, took two years to open. So, what are the possible benefits of Arrival's microfactory? The fact that there is a slew of smaller industries strewn over the map implies reduced emissions and prices. Microfactories can be built upon the fringes of population centers and within them to transport cars from the plant to their final place of sale. There are weeks when commercial electric vehicles are produced at a decent pace of 20 each shift or 40 per day to satisfy the local market. Starting in 2023, it will also provide delivery vans for public buses in a few lucky cities. According to China's economic analysts, the number of vans in our cities will expand by 40% in the following years to keep up with the unstoppable development. It's also to conform that governments worldwide are imposing ever stricter sanctions on the filthy internal combustion engine. Arrivals Composite Material with the innovative design based around the microphone, Arrival's market expands as well. Steel is the industry standard for WANs, as you presumably already know because it's light, inexpensive, and easy to deal with. Arrival developed a complex proprietary composite supplied to the mill in big fabric ropes, similar to what you'd see in the textile industry, and is 50% lighter than steel. It also has higher flexibility, which will bounce back more quickly if exposed to unfolds, digs, or bumps. As a result, during a busy working day, operating expenses are reduced. Arrival's composite material also has the advantage of being pre-colored rather than painted. This implies the microfactory won't have to spend even more money on costly and time-consuming paint shops. It's because the color is consistent throughout, not just on the surface. Unlike conventional steel panels, the material will not exhibit scratches and scuffs. Also, unlike conventional vehicle layouts, Arrival's panels aren't soldered together. Instead, they were joined using high-tech fancy glue, a technique taken from the aviation industry. This also saves money on expensive welding infrastructure and labor, which goes directly into children's purses. Arrival's ultimate goal is to make automobiles that cost the same or almost as much as their diesel counterparts. Sustainability It is just more long-term. One way they achieve this is by making their signature composite 100% recyclable. Any shavings or offcuts from a competitor's molding and trimming operations are dismantled and repurposed on other vehicles. This is because Arrival's changed and adapted to the hectic changes of the 21st century. In terms of inside design architecture, they have a nice aesthetic. Keep in mind that everything is powered by electricity. The construction of zero emissions cars is simple and modular. This implies that during the arrivals vehicles, 20 year career, parts may be readily switched out and improved as technology or the needs of the end user change. All components from the seats to the transmission and the HMI, human machine interface, or steering wheel need to be changed. Arrival's stylish undercarriage is very evident. 
Futuristic buses operate in the same way as regular city buses. You'll see an ugly bulge somewhere towards the back, which traditionally houses a hot, noisy engine. Even current electric buses maintain this characteristic since ordinary manufacturers seldom go to the bother of completely reimagining their whole design. Arrival buses offer greater room, flexibility and accessibility choices when it comes to urban mass trends. Modularity Arrival's micro-factories are designed as modular clusters of what the firm refers to as cells, 20 meters long and 20 meters wide, include a quartet of robots who can turn their gnarly metal hands to any work and are controlled by Arrival's in-house built software. A microfactory can expand by buying more or reconfiguring current sales to match particular local market quantities or bus route demands for your seats. They take up the lowest amount of space feasible, and a typical automobile plant may cost up to a million euros per square foot and more. The cost of a microfactory is merely tens of thousands of dollars per square foot, and it will be up and functioning much faster. Microfactories, in the end, represent a challenge to the prevalent view that manufacturing should be outsourced to massive foreign companies and hauled over. What do you think about Arrival's microfactory? Was it the same as you imagined it to be? What are your reactions upon witnessing what it is all about? And also, what are your thoughts on this video? Feel free to drop your reviews and responses in the comment section below. And before leaving, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications on our future content. See you in the next video.